In today's crazy world, success is like trying to be the popular kid in high school. It's all about being relevant. And how do we measure that? Well, it's basically about how many likes and follows you rack up on social media. People are out there flaunting their lives online, trying to be the Kim Kardashian of the internet. But hold up, because chasing that fame comes with its own set of problems. Sure, you might get your 15 minutes of fame, but one slip-up and you're trending for all the wrong reasons. Now, imagine taking the road less travelled, the one where you ditch the fame game altogether. Sounds crazy, right? But hear me out. In a world where everyone's screaming for attention, being invisible might just be the ultimate power move. Think about it. No constant pressure to impress. No fear of public shaming every time you mess up. It's like living life without the paparazzi constantly breathing down your neck. Being invisible lets you march to the beat of your own drum. You can make mistakes, learn and grow, without worrying about what the peanut gallery thinks. And guess what? You'll find a kind of inner peace that no amount of likes can buy. Just look at old Diogenes chilling in his barrel. He was on to something, rejecting societal norms like a boss. So, next time you feel like you're drowning in the sea of social media, remember the power of being invisible. It's not about the spotlight. It's about finding your own path and living authentically, away from the noise of the crowd. And trust me, that's where the real magic happens. 1. It gives you the ability to discreetly accomplish tasks without drawing attention from others. Imagine having your very own invisibility cloak, like the One Ring from J.R.R. Tolkien's epic adventures, a symbol of ultimate power. It lets you sneak around undetected, just like a ninja at a birthday party. While this invisibility thing might sound like something out of a fairy tale, it's got some serious real-world applications. Think about it. Being invisible means you can do your thing without nosy onlookers butting in. Sure, you might not be able to vanish into thin air like Frodo or Bilbo, but there are ways to fly under the radar and make stealth moves like a pro. Take, for example, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, a.k.a. the Stealth Bomber. This bad boy is like the James Bond of planes, sleek, stylish, and practically invisible to the radar. It's like playing hide-and-seek with a fighter jet, and guess who's winning? And let's not forget our undersea friends, the octopuses. These squishy geniuses can change colour and texture faster than a chameleon at a disco, blending seamlessly into their surroundings. It's like they've got their own built-in invisibility cloaks, except they don't have to worry about dry cleaning. But here's the real magic of invisibility. It's not just about disappearing act, it's about wielding power without waving it in everyone's faces. It's like being the puppet master behind the scenes, pulling the strings without anyone even knowing you're there. As the wise old Stoic Seneca once said, true happiness is all about living in the moment without stressing about what comes next. And that's where invisibility comes in handy it's about being present without needing a standing ovation. So as we journey through this crazy thing called life, let's embrace the power of invisibility. It's about being strong in the shadows, making a difference without making a fuss. Because remember, sometimes the biggest impact comes from the quietest whispers, not the loudest cheers. 2 without the weight of being noticeable. Welcome to the wild, wild web, where everyone's life is a public spectacle and privacy is as rare as a unicorn sighting. But fear not, my fellow digital denizens, because in this online circus, the power of invisibility emerges as a mighty weapon, especially for us guys in the 30 to 65 age bracket, juggling the chaos of modern life. Now, before you start picturing yourself as the next Harry Potter with an invisibility cloak, let's get one thing straight. 
we're not talking about ghosting society altogether. No, no, we're talking about holding on to a bit of mystery, like a digital ninja, slipping through the cracks of the internet unscathed. Think about it this way. Do you really need to share every little detail of your life with the entire cyberverse? Isn't it perfectly reasonable to keep some stuff to yourself, like your secret love for cheesy 80s movies or your questionable taste in Hawaiian shirts? In today's digital jungle, where everyone feels entitled to know every last detail about your breakfast choices, the pressure to overshare can be suffocating. But hey, who wants to deal with the drama of oversharing anyway? Who knows what kind of cyber weirdos you might attract by putting your life on display like a reality show contestant? Personally, I've chosen to lurk in the shadows like a mysterious online ninja and Lee. Let me tell you, it's liberating. Sure, my YouTube channel might not have a gazillion subscribers, but you know what? I can go to the grocery store without getting mobbed by fans, and that's a win in my book. But let's get philosophical for a moment, shall we? This whole invisibility gig isn't just about avoiding the paparazzi. It's about finding inner peace, just like the wise old Stoics preached. As Seneca once said, True happiness is all about living in the moment without stressing about the future. And you know what? He's on to something. When you embrace the power of invisibility, you're free to be your authentic self without the constant pressure to perform for an audience. It's like taking a vacation from the judgmental eyes of the internet and just being you, flaws and all. Being invisible has its perks, especially in a world where everyone's clamoring for attention like seagulls fighting over a french fry. By flying under the radar, you get to observe, learn, and make moves without the whole world breathing down your neck. So, my digital comrades, let's raise a toast to the power of invisibility. It's not about hiding in the shadows forever. It's about choosing when and where to reveal yourself. It's about taking control of your life, finding your inner zen, and living life on your own terms. So next time you're tempted to overshare on social media, just remember, sometimes the most powerful move is to remain unseen, to bask in the tranquility of obscurity, and to live life on your own mysterious terms. 3. Attempting to overshadow others is a sign of weakness. In the vast landscape of personal development and self-awareness, there's a hidden gem often overshadowed by our fame-obsessed culture, invisibility. Taoist philosopher Lao Tzu once said, those who try to outshine others dim their own light, highlighting the profound wisdom that striving for superiority can actually diminish one's character and appeal. In today's world, where self-promotion and competition dominate, this lesson in humility rings truer than ever. The relentless pursuit of fame and relevance has become a central theme in contemporary culture, yet this chase often leads to a fragile sense of self-worth, dependent on external validation. Ironically, seeking attention and admiration can make individuals vulnerable to public scrutiny and criticism, as exemplified by high-profile cases like that of Johnny Depp, and Amber Heard. Amber, once celebrated, faced intense backlash and widespread disdain, showcasing how fame can amplify personal issues, turning them into public spectacles. Contrastingly, invisibility offers a form of power and protection. By shying away from the limelight, individuals can maintain their privacy and avoid the pitfalls of public scrutiny fostering a more authentic and grounded existence where worth is measured by personal values and actions, not external validation. Incorporating this philosophy into our lives allows us to appreciate the strength and subtlety of a low-profile existence, focusing on personal growth and inner fulfillment rather than external recognition. This mindset aligns with the Stoic principle of focusing on what's within our control, our actions, choices, and responses. In conclusion, 
Embracing invisibility shields us from the volatile nature of fame and public opinion, enabling us to live authentically and prioritize personal growth, values, and impact on others. Rather than chasing the fleeting allure of fame, let's cultivate a life of genuine fulfillment and resilience, grounded in authenticity and inner peace. Now, let's take a moment to ponder what are the true benefits of being in the spotlight? In our modern era, fame, or what we often term as relevance, is more accessible than ever thanks to social media platforms. But let's pause and reflect on the words of the ancient Greek philosopher Epicurus, who saw fame as a vain desire, a hunger with no natural limit. 4. What advantages come with being visible to everyone? Let's take a deeper dive into the concept of invisibility or the skill of blending into the background which holds its own unique power. When you're not constantly under the microscope, you gain the freedom to observe, learn and grow without the suffocating pressure of public opinion. Invisibility grants you the space to be authentic, make mistakes and glean valuable lessons from them without the fear of harsh judgment. It's in these quiet moments of obscurity that true self-discovery and growth flourish. Drawing wisdom from the Stoics, particularly Seneca, who famously remarked that true happiness lies in relishing the present moment without fretting over the uncertain future, we find resonance with our discussion. Invisibility empowers us to live in the here and now, focusing on personal growth and contentment rather than being ensnared in the never-ending pursuit of fame and external validation. Moreover, invisibility nurtures resilience. Stepping out of the limelight forces you to tap into your inner strength and wisdom, becoming more adaptable and resilient in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. This ethos beautifully aligns with the Stoic principle of concentrating on what's within our control while relinquishing futile concerns about what lies beyond our influence. Away from the glare of fame, you also have the opportunity to forge genuine, meaningful relationships. These connections are grounded in authenticity, reflecting who you truly are rather than being superficially based on public persona or social status. Such genuine bonds offer a depth of fulfillment that superficial fame cannot rival. In conclusion, while fame may seem enticing, it's the understated power of invisibility that unlocks the door to personal growth, authentic living and inner peace. As we navigate life's twists and turns, Let's embrace the quiet strength of being unseen, discovering the invaluable benefits of invisibility along the way. In the immortal words of Marcus Aurelius, very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself and your way of thinking. Let this sentiment illuminate our path as we delve into the profound depths of our own invisible journey. 5. The drawbacks of being famous. In today's fast-paced world, where fame and visibility often steal the spotlight, it's essential to take a step back and ponder the wisdom passed down by ancient philosophers like Epictetus. Epictetus, with his keen insight, shed light on the downsides of fame. Let's unpack these drawbacks. Firstly, fame disrupts tranquility, a cherished state in Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic luminary, once extolled the sanctuary of one's soul as the ultimate retreat from turmoil. However, fame breaches this sanctuary, leaving little space for peace. Secondly, the loss of privacy looms large in fame's shadow. In an era where every move is under scrutiny, maintaining a private life becomes a Herculean task. Thirdly, Fame attracts unsavory characters like stalkers and fair-weather friends who prioritize status over genuine concern. This constant surveillance and judgment create an exhausting and often unrewarding existence. Moreover, 
The pursuit of fame resembles chasing the wind beyond our control and subject to the whims of fickle public opinion. The audience, unpredictable as it is, can turn against you swiftly, shattering the reputation you've painstakingly built. Epictetus, in his teachings, likened fame to an unreliable and insatiable pleasure, difficult to attain and even harder to sustain. This echoes the Stoic notion that external validation is fleeting and beyond our grasp. Considering these points, isn't there a compelling case for embracing the power of invisibility? Within both the Epicurean and Stoic frameworks, we find strong arguments for retreating from the public eye. This path shields us from fame's pitfalls and opens doors to more enduring sources of happiness. Epictetus prized simple pleasures, a shared meal, quality time with friends, or the serene peace of contentment. These joys don't hinge on social media followers or a ubiquitous online presence. They are accessible, straightforward, and, most importantly, within our control. In today's world, where the pressure to remain visible and relevant is overwhelming, Choosing invisibility becomes an act of defiance and self-preservation. In conclusion, for men aged 30 to 65, embracing invisibility can be both liberating and empowering. It allows you to focus on what truly matters, aligning with the stoic principle of prioritizing what's within our control. As Seneca, another stoic sage, wisely noted, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By opting for invisibility, you're not merely sidestepping fame's pitfalls. You're reclaiming your peace, privacy, and the simple joys of life. 6. Living a life of blending in. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, there's a subtle yet powerful concept often overlooked amidst society's clamor for individualism, the art of blending in. This idea is central to our discussions on Stoic Flow, where we explore the depths of personal authenticity. As a devoted Stoic, I've long championed non-conformity, but here I propose a nuanced perspective on what it truly means to be a non-conformist. Non-conformity isn't about loudly declaring uniqueness or making bold displays of difference. Rather, it's about authenticity, sometimes manifested through blending into the background. This approach isn't about losing oneself in the crowd, but rather skillfully navigating the superficial layers of society, customs, habits, and outward appearances with grace. By doing so, we conserve our energy and time for matters aligned with our deeper values, ethics, spirituality, and life goals. Consider the chameleon, celebrated for its ability to adapt its appearance to its surroundings. Similarly, when we blend in with superficial aspects of life, attire, perceptions, social manners, we're not compromising our values. Instead, we're strategically reserving our true selves for what truly matters. The story of the ancient philosopher Diogenes exemplifies this. Despite living in a barrel with minimal possessions, Diogenes epitomized authenticity not through outward appearance, but through actions and words. His authenticity allowed him to focus on philosophy without superficial distractions. In today's world, where the pressure to be noticed is immense, the power of invisibility becomes invaluable. By blending in, we afford ourselves the freedom to focus on personal growth without the constant pressure of maintaining an outward image. In conclusion, embracing the power of blending in as a form of authentic non-conformity allows us to navigate life's superficial layers with ease. True authenticity isn't always about standing out. Sometimes it's about finding strength in being comfortably invisible. This approach aligns with Stoic principles and can lead to a more serene, focused, and fulfilling life. Now, I'm curious about your thoughts on this approach. 
Do you believe there's strength in being invisible and avoiding unnecessary attention? Share your perspectives in the comments below. Thank you for engaging with this content, and may you find your path to authentic living, whether visible or invisible to the world. Remember, as Michelangelo famously said, beauty is the process of eliminating the superfluous. Now remember these three things. One, life's sweeter when it's simple. In our modern society, it's become commonplace for everyone to have dozens, if not hundreds, of apps on their mobile phones. From social media and entertainment to food delivery and productivity tools, it seems like every aspect of our lives requires some form of software assistance. Yet, amidst this abundance of choices, we often overlook a crucial truth. Having too many options can actually lead to decision fatigue and, ironically, fewer meaningful choices. There's a saying that goes, more is less and less is more. This encapsulates the wisdom of simplicity in life. Just like Michelangelo's iconic sculpture, David, where the true beauty emerged from the process of chiseling away the excess stone, life's true essence often lies in stripping away the unnecessary. Michelangelo himself expressed this sentiment when he remarked that beauty is the result of eliminating the superfluous. Similarly, the renowned sculptor Auguste Rodin equated art with the act of removing unnecessary parts, emphasizing that life follows the same principle even more so. In reality, a significant portion of our lives, more than 90% in fact, consists of activities that drain our mental energy. Each choice we make, whether it's selecting from a multitude of apps on our phones, managing countless possessions at home, or engaging in unnecessary social interactions, chips away at our cognitive resources. Our mental strength and energy are finite, much like the space within a person's soul. Simplifying our lives not only conserves this precious resource, but also creates room for personal growth and meaningful experiences. It's only when we declutter our lives, both physically and mentally, that our souls have the space to expand, develop, and accommodate what truly matters. 2. True wealth lies in simple desires. There's a quaint tale that goes like this. A fisherman would sit by a serene lake, patiently fishing. Each time he reeled in a fish, he'd measure it with a ruler. Any fish that exceeded the length of the ruler was gently returned to the lake. Bystanders, puzzled by his actions, questioned why he did this. His response was simple yet profound. My pan at home is only as big as this ruler. Anything larger won't fit. This story embodies the essence of living a life unclouded by excessive desires and wants. Henry David Thoreau, a keen observer of human nature, once remarked, A person is as rich as the number of things they can afford to let go. This notion speaks to the idea that true wealth lies not in accumulation, but in the ability to relinquish. Those who constantly crave more, who seek to flaunt their possessions, often reveal an inner void. In contrast, individuals with a rich inner life find contentment in simplicity. A person who is secure in themselves and their values doesn't feel the need to boast about their possessions. They don't feel compelled to showcase their car, their travels, their wardrobe or their jewellery. These external trappings hold little sway over their sense of fulfilment. Instead, they derive richness from within, finding joy in the intangible aspects of life, relationships, experiences and personal growth. In essence, the fisherman's practice and Thoreau's wisdom remind us that true abundance isn't measured by material possessions, but by the depth of one's inner being. Living simply allows us to cultivate a richer, more meaningful existence, one where contentment flourishes independent of external markers of success. 3. Happiness is found in a simple soul. Happiness is a destination we all strive for, 
yet its true essence is not found in the accumulation of material wealth, but in the depths of our souls. As Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy once remarked, with age comes a spiritual awakening, a realization that true richness transcends material possessions. Life's journey, marked by its ups and downs, ultimately leads us to a valley where the rivers of our fate converge into a vast lake. It's a continuous process of shedding unnecessary burdens and embracing the true richness found within. Simplicity, often overshadowed by the allure of complexity, holds the key to genuine happiness. Yet, many find themselves ensnared by the complexities of comparison, envious of others' seemingly simple lives. However, true simplicity arises when we focus inward, letting go of material desires and superficial pursuits. In this state of inner peace, life becomes lighter, allowing us to move forward unburdened. Our lives oscillate between simplicity and complexity, but it's in choosing simplicity as our final destination where true richness and happiness reside, as we conclude our exploration of the virtues of invisibility and simplicity, I extend my gratitude for accompanying me on this journey. We've unearthed timeless wisdom, discovering that true richness lies not in possessions or fame, but in the depth of our souls and the simplicity of our desires. Reflect on these lessons and consider how they may shape your own path. If you found value in our discussion, I invite you to engage further by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to continue sharing these profound insights with our community. As we draw the curtain, may you find joy in life's simple pleasures and strength in your quiet journey. Thank you for being part of this community, for your engagement and for choosing to walk this path with us. Until next time, may simplicity guide your steps and bring you closer to true happiness. Stay safe. Stay stoic.